Hey everybody, welcome back to Kristen's Decor. Happy 2021. Today we're gonna start off with some Valentine's crafts. I went to the dollar store and picked up a few things. Everything is from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna quickly show you what I bought and we're gonna make a Valentine's wreath. So I got the wire wreath. I got the glitter tool. I got four of these just in case. Pipe cleaners. And I got some roses and some glitter hearts in pink and red. So I'm kind of wing it as I go and just see how I can create this. So I started off by um, rolling some of these. I cut, I pre-cut them so it'll go faster. But just to show you, you just cut them in sections like this and you're gonna roll them back and forth. And then you'll use the um, pipe cleaner to tie the middle and then we're gonna arrange it to make a nice puffiness around the heart. So we're gonna do all these little tool things first and then I'm gonna start putting them on the heart and then we're gonna add in some of the roses and the other glitter hearts. So I'm gonna quickly do these as fast as I can. The only thing that stinks with these is the glitter gets everywhere. So we're gonna have to vacuum this all up because glitter sticks to everything and that makes me crazy. But um, I think this will be cute and I'm gonna be doing some more Valentine's crafts. So make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so that you can see more of my fun filled crafts for the Valentine's season. So right here I was doing the tool from the inside of the heart to the outside and going every other but I didn't like the way the middle was taking away from the shape. So then I redid and removed all the tool from the inside of the heart and I just put it on the two outer wires. That way it would fill up better and I wouldn't lose that shape. Now as I'm putting the glue on, I notice it will be much easier if you take the metal heart and place it on the styrofoam heart and then glue it. That way it's going to stick better you can see where you need to um, rectify to make sure that it's tight and it's sticking. Then I started to attach my roses all around and kind of just place them into areas I thought would fill it up more and still see the tool and make it puffy. So then I added some of my styrofoam glitter hearts and I just put glue on the bottom of them and I pressed them down where I wanted them as well. So now I have my finished product and I think it looks beautiful. Um, the heart really defines it and adding the decor around it with the roses and flowers. So I think it came out great. I hope you guys enjoy it. On my next one, I picked the red glitter and I decided no tool in this one, I was gonna do roses. So I got the purple and red roses and I decided to do every other one towards the outside to frame the heart. So I was gluing them on and opening up the petals to give it more um, thickness and fullness because I didn't have as many roses. So once I completed that, I just wanted to make sure everything looked good and then I was going to add on some more. So I quickly uh, finished up that and then... I wanted to add some mini flowers and the heart decor. So that will be up next. Once I secure all the petals and the leaves to make sure they're sticking, um, sometimes you have to press really hard because they fold up. And I just wanted to give it that open flower look. So then I add on my mini flowers and I just attach them kind of towards the inside of the heart and these um, have a sticker to them, but I also wanted to glue them. Then I used my red mini hearts and added a few of them as well to the wreath. 
So again, you just wanna make sure you reinforce it, add your glue and push really hard so that way it sticks. So we have this one completed now. And here you go, this one is multicolor. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I look forward to seeing everybody and adding more Valentine's decor. Thank you and have a good day.